To this day, she's still one of the best competitors I've ever had the opportunity to coach. She was touching about nine foot six inches when I got to start working with her. When she graduated her senior year, she was over 10 foot. Just to give you an idea of the work ethic and the attitude and how much better she wanted to get day in and day out. Uh, you can look at the record books and see the statistics and the records that she broke along the way. I loved going into a lot of our tournaments. You know, we go to WVU and they'd hire Rad, they bring Radford in as the win. You know, this is the easy win for everybody. Well, we ended up winning the whole tournament. So junior and senior year, that was amazing. So I think the biggest thing to probably take away from all of that experience is that there's more than you think to yourself. There's more in there to get out. Um, and I think it's who you surround yourself to get the best from each other. Um, but beyond the numbers was just the person. Katie was one of the finest people that we've ever had the opportunity to work with. She did everything the right way, on the court, off the court, with her teammates. Uh, it, when you're trying to create uh, the perfect player, uh, you kind of look to Katie. To this day, I still go out recruiting, and this is probably the biggest compliment I can pay. We still go out recruiting, and we're looking for the next Katie Sherwood. And I think that that says volumes about what she brought as a player and as a person. You know, it's so hard. Thank God for Facebook right now because we're all in different places. You know, we have a lot of girls that are still in California. I have some that are in Richmond. Um, some of my closest girlfriends are in Philly, and the other one's in Maryland. And I, you know, I'm in Virginia right now. I'm getting ready to move to North Carolina, but. You know, I, I will say it's amazing that even if you were to see them today, we would pick up right where we left off, exactly where we left off. Like you wouldn't have skipped a beat. So it's just, it's lasting friendships. Katie, congratulations on this honor. Um, knew this wasn't uh, an if, but just a win. Uh, you had one of the best careers that any volleyball player has ever had for Radford University. Um, so lucky to be able to say that I was a part of that. I am completely honored and completely humbled to be elected and to sit along with all those elite athletes that I see on the wall. I mean, I can tell you, I dreamed of this moment. I was there when we inducted Anne Fontaine Sluter. And I remember sitting in that seat and saying, I wanna do that, I wanna be there. And so I have a little bit of pride too in the fact that I was able to accomplish that, but I'll tell you the truth, couldn't have done it on my own. It's a team sport for a reason. And I had a lot of good supporting cast. I mean, I couldn't hit a ball if I didn't have a setter. The setter couldn't set without a passer. So really, this is done for everybody. Um, but I do take a lot of pride and honor. And I'm completely humbled by the experience.